Jim, evaluate what you saw from Obaldo Jimenez. Well, you, you know, I mean, he's trying to make some tweaks. Doesn't think he's using his front side. Obviously, uh, you know, you, there's two kinds of being wild, as, as Rick Dempsey certainly knows. Number one, you walk people. Uh, number two, you can be wild in the zone. So I think he's kind of well, has a little bit of both of those. As you mentioned, uh, you know, you get five runs, you get five hits, you make an error, you get a base on balls, but a lot of pitches that end up in the middle of the plate. He's at his best when he can throw a ball that has movement in the strike zone. The ball looks flat. It looks to me, and, you know, I'm trying to look at his feet. You know, the, the uh, it just looks like he's a little bit out of uh, sync as far as, you know, the top doesn't stay closed. The open swings open, and then there's really nothing there. So velocity goes down, movement goes down, command goes down. And the other thing is the Angels, you know, they've had a nice month hitting the, the baseball. They're you know, they coming into this game, and what, they had uh, scored almost uh, 4.8 runs a game. So they got guys that are hot. Polhos got a big hit. He was he's hot, but he wasn't uh, hitting with runners in scoring position. Today, they if uh, Ubaldo got some balls up, they went the other way. The contrast to that was the Orioles were trying to pull Weaver all day long. Uh, they kept popping balls up. They didn't hit a ground ball since what the fourth uh, batter of uh, you know of the game. So you know two different pitchers. One guy pitched under bat speed, and the other one pitched right to it. Jimmy, you know, I had an opportunity to catch a lot of great pitchers. You know you were one of those. But, uh, you know, there's a growing trend in baseball now that I see that I can't explain. Maybe you can shed a little light on it. Why are so many pitchers falling off to the first base side, not staying behind the ball? What is happening to the mechanics of throwing a baseball these days? You know, I think it might have to be something. I mean, let's look at Ibaldo. You won't find a nicer guy in the world. You won't find a guy that wants to do better you know forget the contract it was a significant one fifty million dollars over four years so he tries to get better and a lot of times you know one of the you know one of the well one of the great guys in baseball and guy won a Cy Young or Mike Flanagan said sometimes you got to try easier and I think what happens we get into where everybody looks at radar guns they look at power and they forget for example if you're a Baldo and you went back and looked at what uh, Jared Weaver was able to do you know, less was more today. Uh, you know, when you try to throw harder, the ball doesn't go any harder. You fly open. You don't really stay over the pitching rubber. You don't get your arm out in front. You can't stay behind the ball. When you go left, if you're right-handed, you kind of push the ball. It's almost like I'm going that way and I'm pushing the ball that way. And that's what I see. Doesn't mean he can't make some changes. He did it last year. Ramon Martinez, terrific pitcher in his own right, works with the Orioles. He was here. So, you know, maybe he can make some corrections. You know, again, you, you, when you're pitching against a guy like Weaver, whose ERA is pretty much what yours are, five and a half runs a game, you don't want to have a big inning. You just couldn't stay out of that. But they did have some very good at-bats. Their approach was better than what the Orioles was today.